This is my new telescope, a Skywatcher Quattro 6 inch imaging Newtonian complete with a coma corrector, focal reducer, rings, and dovetail bar. The green dovetail bar I later changed out to a longer bar to obtain telescope balance better. I have an Orion 50mm Deluxe Mini with a helical focus or guide scope with an Orion Starshoot guide camera on the other side of the telescope using the included holder for the finder scope. I am not using the included finder scope. I also attached a red dot finder to the top of the last ring. Telescope arrived and I thought the collimation was off since two secondary mirror thumb screws were loose. I got my laser out to collimate and I guess I really messed up the collimation. I found out that the telescope is set to have the secondary mirror offset. I had to research that topic. Anyway, I made some modifications to the telescope after its arrival upon review of other YouTube videos on the same telescope series. The imaging camera is a ZWO ASI 294MC Pro one-shot color camera with a 55mm backspacing attached to the coma corrector. The Crawford fo uh, focuser was not level and I adjusted it. I put an extra thumb screw in the second in the two inch ring where the coma corrector fits into as well as the inch and a quarter eyepiece holder. The secondary mirror adjustment screws are very hard to turn. Astronomy Shed video uh, had some modifications on the secondary and I did his modification on collimation using a webcam. I ordered a webcam and made some plastic strips to wrap around the webcam to take up the gap since the webcam's diameter is less than one and a quarter inches for the eyepiece holder. Here are some shots of the webcam and its view down the inch and a quarter eyepiece holder. I first put a color card opposite the focuser so the secondary mirror would show up better. I then put a white card stock paper by, uh, further down the tube past the secondary to block off the primary's reflection. I then worked on the secondary to get it exactly centered and circular in the webcam's view. Using the Red Rings overlay program, I was able uh, to get a uh, good circle. After getting the secondary right, I proceeded to remove the white card blocking the primary's view. Then I did additional adjustments to the primary to get it centered and some additional small adjustments on the secondary mirror until both mirrors were aligned. Rechecked with my laser collimator tool and I was almost dead center in the primary mirror's donut. I adjusted the secondary a little and then the primary mirror to get all aligned with the laser tube. Rechecked again with the webcam and the red circle overlay. That night after star alignment once, uh, on one star, I checked the star shape of a defocus star. Picture shown. It was, in my opinion, a round donut with equal distances between inner and outer circumferences. I took a screenshot and put the red circle overlay to check later because clouds came in and I had to stop. I have since then been able to go out again and take photographs and I do have much better pinpoint stars all over the frame. I will put links to the YouTube videos which I use for some of my modifications.